What's up, YouTube? It's Ryan from Riding in Style. And right now, today, I got these uh, floor mats that I ordered. They came in. They're actually laser laser fit to go in, in the front and back seats. Brand is the 3D brand, and that's the website, www.uace.com. And these look pretty neat. I mean, I was looking for some good floor mats. I've had some uh, custom ones in the past, but they weren't very practical. So let's see how these compare. Oh, it's actually a really nice tight laser fit. That, that actually looks really sharp. This is for the front passenger side. This looks like really good quality. It's like a real thick rubber and it's got the nice lip over here in the edges. And it just seems to fit perfectly right inside. And it lines right up with the factory hook. Press her down. Wow. I'm actually very happy with the way these turned out. You know, it's always a risk when you order things online and when they come in, sometimes it doesn't meet the expectation. Sometimes it's not as perfect as you would hope. But so far, I'm liking these. And again, that's the brand of these mats, 3D. Driver's side, it was a little tricky to get in, but it's actually a perfect fit uh, just to get it underneath those pedals there, and it locks in perfectly with the factory hooks. I'm actually very happy with the way these turned out. I'm trying out this new air freshener. I got it from Walmart. It's called the Tree Frog. It's like a natural air freshener. It actually smells pretty good. They have a lot of different flavors, but what air fresheners do you folks use? Let me know. And do you think it's worth getting those uh, pedal covers, the sporty ones, if you think it's worth it, comment below, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because I got a lot of other mods coming in. So I will keep you posted. And overall, I'm actually very happy with them. Uh, inside's coming out pretty good with the uh, LED, white LED light package, the black leather. Now I got the custom floor mats and of course the uh, 75 cent mod. And I'm gonna talk about the 75 cent mod real quick. First of all, it ain't no 75 cents. I think it looks good, but it actually cost me about $25 because I went with two different colors, the white and the red. Now, comment and let me know because I'm actually thinking of swapping it out for the red. I know I want to do the center the center um, gauge cluster area. I actually want to remove this here. This is the white, but it doesn't stick out or stand out in a good way like I thought it would. The doors, I'm loving it. I'm loving how the doors are turned out, but... For some reason, I think the red would actually look better here, but I don't know if that would look tacky with red on the uh, gauge area and then white on the doors. But comment below, let me know if you think it would look tacky or if I should just go with red all around, keep it with the white. And um, I look forward to hearing the feedback because after all, I'm actually learning. This is a tight little family we have here, the whole Mopar group and uh, just muscle car enthusiasts all together. So don't forget to join the journey, my journey of making this car mine. And I'm actually having a real good time, guys. I mean, as most of you know, I'm pretty new to this whole vlogging thing. I'm a very private person and it's so humid here. I don't know what it is, but uh, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. Refer my channel to some of your friends. If you got people that wanna do some mods and they just don't know what to do, or where to go, that's what this channel is all about. It's about getting people interested in using my car as a point of interest you know to watch it transform and as of right now it's been pretty pretty mild in terms of the uh, transformations but the major ones are going to come you know because I've got some things lined up already I'm starting off really small starting off pretty modest but I'm excited for the future things that's going to come real soon so I thank you folks for your loyalty uh, again don't forget to subscribe and um Comments. I welcome all those comments. So once again, this is Ryan from Riding in Style.